My name is Mohamed Saif Farouk and this video is a complete tour of the Oxford University Libraries. These libraries are insanely old and world famous. The first library we're going to go to is the Duke Humphreys Library. This library actually featured in the Harry Potter films and you'll see the restricted section later on. So it was actually the door on the left, so going straight in, I tapped my library card. There were so much stairs. There was the lower reading room, the Duke Humphreys room, and also the upper reading room. So this is the general entrance to the Duke Humphreys room. I went into the student section where I don't think tourists can go. There's some books here. You can't touch these because they're alarmed. There's so much attention to detail in the ceilings and there's also paintings because of well, Oxford. As I head up these stairs, there's also some more books and a great view of the overall room. So heading back on myself, again, these are the really old books. Now heading to the upper reading room. So I believe you can take bags into this room, at least based on what I saw. You can't take bags into the Duke Humphreys library, you'd have to actually store them into a locker. Back down the stairs to the lower reading room. This is quite similar to the upper reading room, they're a bit more relaxed than what you can bring to it. Now we're going to go down the stairs to the Gladstone Link, which actually takes us to the Radcliffe Library without having to actually leave the building. So we'll start off with the lower Gladstone Link. I believe this is a library in itself, at least it felt like it was. It doesn't look as great, but it's a lot quieter, which means if you actually want to get more work done and be away from tourists, then this would be a spot. That being said, I don't think tourists can go to most of these areas anyway. Now we'll head up the stairs to the upper Gladstone link. And bearing in mind this is all underground. This time we have metallic bookcases. And because there's so many books, these kind of collapse in on themselves and then can open outwards. And there's also some general study spaces as well. Now heading out towards the Radcliffe Library. So this is the famous library that you see pretty much on every Oxford photo. So again, coming through the underground entrance. I originally thought this was the entirety of the library, but then the more I looked, the more I found. So heading upstairs, I believe these stairs also feature in the Harry Potter films, at least they look like they did. Heading up again, insane architecture. There's also a really nice studio space upstairs, which we'll get to in a second. So, this is the upstairs study area, and it just looks insane. So, this is me going up the stairs to the um, balcony area. So 
So again, I believe this area is restricted to students only. And this was the views outside the windows, which was quite nice. That completes my Radcliffe Library tour. So this is heading into the church across the road. It just looked so fancy that I had to feature in this video and also it's right next to the libraries. After this we'll move on to the next library. So now we moved on to the Western Library. I believe this is a lot more modern compared to the other libraries. Again, I had to store my stuff in a locker. Again, there was a cafe area. There's an outdoor sort of balcony area, which I believe you can access at certain points. This is one of the library rooms here. And then this is another. So this library, you can't actually bring your own water in, but there's a water fountain and sort of disposable cups that you can use. I'm just gonna head out of this library. I've also made a college library tour, which is on another video. This completes the Oxford University library tours. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.